So I am going to, hopefully you can hear this while I do dishes. Um, so, you may or may not have heard, my wife and I are going to sell out. Now, in and of itself, that's not big news. A lot of people sell their houses daily, right? No big deal. But what is news and what has so many people plumbing? Columbus, I say, is that we're not buying a house to replace one with self. We are, in fact, buying uh, two RVs, and we're going to live with live out of the RV, either on the road or here in Olympia, uh, once we sell the house. And the um, thing is, this isn't a new idea. Uh, we've been talking about going tiny for a long time. A couple of years we've been looking at tiny houses and we were looking at tiny house communities and none of that seemed to, to fit what we were looking for and then this is kind of like a timeline of what happened and then Bev mentioned one night that she'd really like to take on a challenge like the Pacific Crest Trail hike 2600 miles from Mexico to Canada, and they said, well, why don't you? And she said, well, you know, got a job, and we got the house payment, and we got the blah, 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 and, you know, to which I replied, why don't you retire in December when you're 62, take early retirement, and why don't we sell the house? Um, so we eventually ended up with this plan that we are sticking with of selling the house and uh, we're going to end up with two uh, you know, motor homes of some sort. And this is? This is Freedom and I bought her from a young man who had remodeled her and he bought it from a guy who had it for just a little bit of time, bought it from a school district auction. Uh, so this is Freedom. She's a 1987 um, GMC 3500 and has lots of nice mirrors, which is what I like. I do want to put a uh, backup mirror on the back. So if you come around this way, there's not a lot of remodeling that's been done to it, not um, compared to what you see on other YouTube videos, but I, I kind of like it that way. And yeah, I've had my dreams of, oh, do this, do that. But I think for now, I'm just gonna enjoy it the way it is. This right here is a um, rack that the gentleman who had it before me wanted to have something safe where nobody could really steal anything. So he had this well, um, he screwed this on well, then it screwed it on and that fits a lot of stuff too, but I have no ladder to get up it. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I could open this and just kind of you know, hang out, I don't know. But this is my garage. Um, so the bed's right to here and the garage inside has the solar, um, all the solar stuff. There are two solar panels, four solar panels up there, two solar panels, and they are 200 watts each. So 400 watts all together. And here's the gas tank. There's been no remodeling on this outside, so no vents or anything. So there's no, there's no plug-in for outside power? Mm -hmm. Nope, there's nothing. Um, but some of the stuff that used to work inside the bus isn't. There, he also installed this little lock system so that you can lock it. It's not just locked this way, but it's locked this way also. I haven't used it yet, but it does have that feature that he put on. So if you look at the front, we have the new license plates on them. Do 57 to one B. Yeah, I haven't figured out what that's going to mean. This is not a Mercedes. 
he just found this and thought it was pretty cool to put the Mercedes uh, little doohickey on there. And that light up there is for um, like a spotlight almost, and it's not hooked up yet. So, and he left that there for me. So let's go inside. You want to come check it out? Yeah. Yeah, come on in. So here's the steps. <laughs> you got the regular bus doors. The regular bus doors for now. I mean, this is old, 1987. It has some wear that I'd like to fix. Like, these aren't totally attached. Ow. This isn't totally attached. See? Woo! So, I think I'm going to um, keep the bus doors, but I'm going to attach them together and make it open like a regular door. This is the little note that the gentleman left me. I was quite pleased. This, he uh, sprayed it with the blackboard chalk paint and it's all metal so all these stick to it i have all these magnets to stick to it and then he also put this in with a little piece of burl wood this is this opens up right here it's not attached yet i will be screwing it in but it's not attached yet but it gives you a place to put things and this is a cushion that he and his girlfriend i think um sewed for now there was a cushion here but that one I took out because it was like several cushions put together and it was just oh, flopping all over. Um, this is the wood stove that's in here. I am changing to this wood stove. I haven't yet because this is three inch and this is four inch. So what I have to do is take all this out and um, cut it another inch wider and get the right um, piping and stuff and install it. So this should be a much safer one. Plus look at the window. It's got a window. Look at that. So cute. I'm so excited. Okay, so here's the kitchen area. So the kitchen area is just this sink that it, it's not even, it's just not even totally in. It's not screwed in. And it has a foot pump down here. If you want to come look, come on over, people. Check it out. So this system is so simple, and I like it. It's a foot pump. This is the clean, this is the um, gray water, and this is the clean water. So you fill this, you put this right underneath the, the drain, and there you have the water. So it's so easy to fill, and it's so easy to dump. So this right here attaches to the, um, to the sink right here, the pump sink. And so you just pump it, and it comes out there. And then over here is just storage, right here is storage. And then there's, I'm gonna get a, I'm deciding what I'm gonna get for a stove. But the stove will be something that'll sit here and then tuck away, then I can bring it out or I can bring it outside. What I like about this is that there's no gap for everything to fall behind, which drives me crazy. And it's all the windows work. So because all the windows work, I can just open everything up and I can have a nice breeze through here. That can be a problem through oh I also have a fan and this I'm gonna get a cover for it's not a max air fan but it does work to um, the, for the transfer of air you do have to make sure it's really tight so it doesn't leak because it did on me and I remember you told me that but it was I was trying to hop up onto it and it fell off and look at that I'm so happy and my grandkids have been playing in it already and uh, then it's all, it has um, solar. Let's see if I can do this. It has all sorts of solar. 400, 400 watts of solar. 400 watts of solar. Woo! Did it. <laughs> 400 watts of solar. These are the lights. And then there's some over on this side. And it's, you can see it's really open. And I'm gonna keep it that way. I'm not gonna put a bunch of stuff up above. Oh, I can see my glasses. They're dark. <laughs> I didn't know they turned dark. I, I got new glasses for, for the PCT so I could be out in the sun for long periods of time. Anyway, all the windows open, which I love. And look at how big it looks. I don't know if you guys can tell because this is just video, but it's so big. I think I'm going to cut get a shorter mattress so there's even more space. And, and most of the storage is where? Most of the storage is in the garage right here. They call this the garage. So I'll keep most of it in there. And then I'm going to, I am going to get a bus for safety. I'm going to get a bus seat, put it here because it'll have seat belts and then there'll be storage under that. And I'm going to get a, um, the medic fridge, you know, the, the chest kind because they're really efficient. 
Um, yeah, I think that's, oh, and then make the screens for here. I'm going to make screens that magnetically, for bugs that magnetically hang on, and then also the reflective material with the, um, some uh, insulation in between, um, most of it. So over here, he this is a metal plate or a steel plate down here, and he put cement in it and put some designs in it. And then he actually uh, built this from a kit. And then he put the license plates back here. So what I'll be doing is I'll have um, heat deflectors on my pipe, and I'll have it I'll have it all to as much to coat as as is needed. And then, so I'll have something so that this doesn't get too hot back here and this doesn't get too hot so where everything's protected. So the, all the power system is underneath. There's an inverter and a, and a um, charge controller and the battery. The battery is a lithium. I think I messed that up because um, once it gets to 20% or something like that, it, it kills the battery. My battery's dead. So I have to get a new battery, but this is, are the, like cigarette lighter type USBs or the USBs and 12, volt. um, 12 volts. These, these are the 12 volts. And this is the lights for up here. So if you see, there's three lights here and they work off of these two lights and so do these, this one and that one. So it's just a, a way of getting light without uh, having to hook up to anything. So this is basically fully self-contained. I will have a little um, composting toilet that I'll be able to pull in and out. Uh, and the other thing is my family is making my daughter-in-law and my, um, with my granddaughter, they're going to make magnetic, um, panels that I can attach to the windows because this is a big heat loss and it also will help, uh, I'll have reflective material on one side and it'll help to, um, deflect the sun's heat, but also it'll help to keep this place warm when I hook up the wood stove, when I, you know, turn on a fire. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to change. I've decided I am going to keep this little couch system. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. Am I going to attach a couch system or not? I don't know. I'm going to probably um, stay in it for a while before I make those bigger decisions. Uh, this is the other thing, besides the wood stove, this hammock system, this hammock, I should say, uh, attaches right here. <laughs> and it made me so happy. Now, I've already fallen once, so I think I'll be safe. But look at this, it'll hold me. Wait, how safe can I be? Right this way. I got my phone in my back pocket. Anyway, look at this. I have a hammock. It's like a toy. A toy in my bus <laughs> and I love it um, but the other thing that I'm gonna do for um, heat for keeping the heat in inside this area is and I have done it because I've been sleeping in here once whenever I can um, is all this is metal I'm probably gonna put some metal strips across here but I just put a sheet just a sheet right across here and then I would just move it with a magnet. I'd move it over there when I needed to get out and I'd move it back here when I wanted the warmth. Just having all these curtains closed, which aren't, they're not that thick, and having the sheeting right here helped tremendously. And magnets are brilliant. So I'll be using a lot more magnets and the only things that I know for sure I'm gonna change is safety things. You know, like making sure that. Backup camera. Yeah, that there's a backup camera um, and, uh, the, the flashers aren't working. So I'll get the flashers working. And so just safety things. Yeah. So this is my space. She's freedom. All right. She's going to be my freedom. All right. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the tour. Oh, thank you, hon. TTFN. TTWA? FN. TTFN, y'all. <laughs>